Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Planning your trip around Philippines weather. This is an important one. Um, if you're planning to move around, it's an issue. Uh, because you may find ferries get cancelled which means you may find that you can't get back for your um, plane you, you will find that roads get cut off some of it took a day to get there could take four days coming back some of it could take an hour to get there could take two days coming back with a landslide so be aware when it's uh, wet season try not to do anything too adventurous um, because it may backfire Personally, I find the Philippines, even in the wet season, not a problem. Generally, I just stay at home in the wet season. Um, but I, I like sitting outside, just relaxing on the uh, balcony, watching the rain, um, bouncing off the balcony and off the street, just chilling out in the evening, um, enjoying the vir environment I'm in. I, I have no problem with the wet season. Uh, but bear in mind, the water in the street might go foot deep as such you'll need wellies uh, or boots I wear hiking boots in the weather when the weather's like that because you're very likely to get infections um, because you can imagine water overflows a lot of the places have uh, open sewers so you can guess what happens with all that bacteria and all that nastiness when the drains overflow um, in England nearly at the moment they started expanding another subdivision without expanding the drainage so the the was never a, a problem before but now anytime it rains the bottom of the road is probably covered for probably 60 feet of water where the drains have overflowed into the street will they fix it i don't think so um let's be honest if you're living in a subdivision you're normally driving a car anyway you couldn't care less uh, but it does mean that the people that have been there a, a long time, the locals, are going to struggle the most because they walk there. Uh, also kids going to school etc because there's no footpath. So yeah, wet season can be a bit harsh. Um, in the hot weather, no real issues at all. Um, it does get really hot at some point. You've, the only thing you've got to watch for that is your electricity by, uh, bill spiking because your usage goes up. Aircon goes from just having on the evenings or a couple hours a day to running 24-7. Um, there's no easy way around that um, except adapting to not having aircon, uh, which we, me and my wife are fine with, but with young kids, you can't really do that. Um, but yeah that's the only things to watch for um but in the in the dry it's worth going out for a good motorcycle ride uh highly recommend going from cebu down to negros and around negros and back um it's very beautiful down there further south than cebu you go the bit the better it is the north the far north is nice as well but I've, I really love the south of Cebu Island. Um, very beautiful place. You might be able to find my old videos on this YouTube channel going back uh, maybe 600 videos ago uh, where we went to Negros Islands. You'll see some of the uh, footage that we took along the way. Um, but yeah, that's it for the weather. Just make sure you, if you're going in the wet season that you adapt for it. In the dry season, nothing really to worry about except, like I said, your electric bills. <laughs> That's what I see.